tonight. Three Australians among the victims of the Jakarta bomb blasts. Another night of violence, this time in the suburbs. And an arrest made in the puppy mutilation case. This is 10 News with George Denikian. Good evening. But first tonight, three Australians have been confirmed among the nine dead in the Jakarta terror attacks. Investigators revealing the bombers checked into the two hotels as guests. 10 reporter Daniel Sutton joins us from Jakarta. And Daniel, has anyone claimed responsibility? George, they haven't as yet, but this attack has all the hallmarks of Jamaa Islamia. Times tonight and plenty of action, Rob Borders. Absolutely, George. Coming up, the Blues move a step closer to playing finals. Geelong gets back on the winner's list. 59-year-old Tom Watson chasing a sixth British Open. And the Aussies lose the plot and date wickets after a horror second day at Lords. Good evening. Geelong has restored order and returned to the winner's list with a 46-point victory over Melbourne at Skilled Stadium. Gary Ablett's two-goal, 40-possession game, putting an abrupt end to the Demons' two-match winning streak. Dressed in their 105th years tomorrow night here on 10. And the round 16 AFL continues on 10 tonight. It's the Magpies and the Hawks in an MCG blockbuster. But for now, that's all for sports tonight. Thank you, Rob. The weather, of course, is next. And the crowded space coupling high over Australia. right through to the weekend. That's the forecast and that's the, the news for now. Have a very good night.